Losers, people don't have access to the internet. There are two Americas, one in the tech bubble and one for people outside looking in. Despite all the talk about the share economy, three quarters of Americans are not familiar with the term, and the most popular shared online service is not ride hailing or apartment sharing, but buying secondhand items online. Europe in 2015, 82% of households had online access. In the US, 60%. Who's worse off? The 40% of Detroit's residents who can't get onto the internet, the lowest rate of any major city in the US. Bottom line, those without internet access do not have the same opportunities as the rest of us. If I have a choice between food tonight and online access, I know what it is, and it is online access. A loser, Chinese luxury shoppers. I think you're a loser if you live in mainland China. It's a desperate, awful place. Anyways, as luxury shopping shifts to e-commerce, Pricing disparities across geographies have become harder to hide. A quarter of luxury brands receive a 16 to 25% tax on items sold in China. For Burberry, it's a whopping 37%. That motivates consumers to travel abroad to go shopping. Almost a third of Chinese travelers choose their destinations based on shopping opportunities. And China is the largest source of outbound tourism in terms of both trips and spending. Digital and kids, winners, losers, time will tell. Want to look into the future? Just look at kids using digital. The average American child gets his or her first phone at age 10. <laughs> Two thirds of children access the internet via a laptop or mobile device, up from 42% in 2012. And a third of children under 12 have a social media account, even though sites including Facebook and Snapchat require users to be at least 13. A winner, pedestrians hit by cars. Yeah, I'll take a pass on that. Google was granted a patent last week for an adhesive vehicle front that's designed to limit injuries. There's just no getting around it. Google thinks different, and they are creating hundreds of billions of dollars of shareholder value. A pedestrian struck by a vehicle would crack an outer egg-like shell and expose an adhesive front end. The stricken pedestrian would literally stick to the hood and bumper, preventing a secondary blow to the pedestrian and therefore fewer injuries. And this is an opportunity to close the door on needless pedestrian deaths. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Clodor. Codor. 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 We'll see you next week.